I'm Chuck Schaefer, and I'm going to use this CRM video blog post to discuss a long-standing CRM problem along with a solution backed up with a five-step implementation framework. I suspect you've seen the CRM statistics from the analyst firms that report anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of all CRM deployments fail to achieve their objectives or fail outright. And considering that CRM is a 22-year-old industry, and these reports tend to repeat themselves year after year, the statistics are cause for some proactive consideration. When you really dig into the research and the experiences of others and drill down to understand why so many CRM deployments fail to meet expectations and achieve their objectives, the Gartner, Forrester, and IDC research all share a top-sided contributing factor as deploying CRM software with a poor CRM strategy or many times no CRM strategy at all. It's important to remember that customer relationship management isn't a software application. It's a business strategy aimed at growing mutually rewarding and profitable customer relationships. And that business strategy is empowered with enabling technology that we often call CRM software. So as to not put the cart in front of the horse, it's critical to recognize that the goal of implementing CRM is not to have CRM software that runs right. It's to solve business problems or achieve specific business opportunities. And a fundamental key to success is to avoid deploying technology in the absence of accompanying strategy. It's similarly critical that any CRM program show specifically how strategy, people, processes, and software are optimally orchestrated to directly impact the company's most important customer and revenue objectives. To do this, a CRM strategy should be used to blueprint the actions required to achieve the strategic objectives and include a clear vision, stakeholder objectives, performance metrics, milestones, benchmarks, voice of the customer input, a closed loop reporting framework, and measurable business outcomes generally expressed in customer and revenue results. And in my own experience from having done this for 25 years, I found that last deliverable of showing customer and revenue impact is particularly influential in achieving sustained CRM success. Because when CRM software becomes the tool that not only supports departmental goals, but also directly contributes to the company's top customer and revenue objectives, it advances the CRM mission from tactical activities to, to, to strategic actions, gets increased executive sponsorship, improves user adoption, becomes sustainable, and delivers significantly higher return on investment. So, with all that said, let me share a five-step CRM strategy design framework that can be used to reduce project risk and build a successful CRM strategic plan that becomes your blueprint, your roadmap, and your delivery plan and ensures that you achieve the payback you expect from your CRM investment. The first step is all about alignment. You need to understand the company's business strategy in measurable terms so that you can create and align the CRM strategy to directly support the company's most important objectives and in turn make CRM sustainable. The second step is to determine the most desired business outcomes and then show how you can orchestrate people, processes, and enabling technology to achieve those objectives. I recommend identifying your goals in SMART terms where the SMART acronym of SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Realistic, and Time-Bound so that you're targeting business results and not just installing software. The third step is to assess the company culture and capabilities needed to achieve the desired outcomes. For example, is the company customer-centric or is it product-centric? Does the company define customer relationship management from an inside-out perspective that is solely from the company's perspective and thereby craft a CRM strategy designed to create the most efficient and low-cost business proce processes possible or other objectives that serve only the company's interest? Or does the company define CRM 
from an outside-in perspective, which means defining what successful customer relationships look like from the customer's perspective, and then crafting a CRM strategy designed to achieve customer relationships, which include those objectives. These are cultural questions where the answers will directly impact the CRM strategy and the business outcomes. The fourth step is to reference and apply vertically focused industry strategies and best practices, which will directly support those SMART objectives and desired business outcomes. For example, in the retail industry, vertical strategies may include loyalty programs, omni-channel sales and service, customer communications, clienteling, mobile retail, which itself may include mobile commerce, mobile POS, mobile client-assisted sales, mobile marketing, and even geo or location-based marketing, retail marketing automation, e-commerce, RFM analysis, voice of the customer programs, pricing and offer management, including pricing elasticity using fluid demand gen models, self-service, customer support, or techniques to combat the increasing problem of showrooming. These are examples in one industry, and every industry has specific business strategies that should be considered within the context of the CRM strategy. The final step in the CRM strategy framework is to understand which disruptive technologies, such as cloud, social CRM, mobility, omni-channel communications, customer experience management, marketing automation, business intelligence, or big data to name a few, can accelerate your industry business strategies and create powerful synergies with CRM and opportunities whereby small investments can achieve some very big paybacks. For example, implementing a social CRM technique can sometimes be done with a single low-cost tool and a single part-time person, and literally grow the sales pipeline by 5 to 15 percent. Now you have to have a CRM platform in order to enable social CRM, but once you have the platform, there are normally several disruptive technologies that can be tapped into for very, where very small investments can produce disproportionately larger revenue results. As the often quoted Yogi Berra once said, if you don't know where you're going, you probably won't get there. And that simple statement reflects why for 22 years so many CRM deployments have not met their objectives. Crafting a CRM strategy that clearly shows specifically how you'll get to your most strategic destination and achieve the most important business outcomes is an effort that will reduce risk and make the difference between getting CRM software that runs right and CRM software that directly contributes to the company's most important strategic customer and revenue objectives.